What up, Custom Gang? It's your boy, Mr. Rallo Custom himself, back with another vid, man. I'm going to take y'all to work with me, and I'm going to show y'all this, uh, I'm going to show y'all how to lay down that wet wet, man. Show y'all the steps and what you need to do, what kind of uh, paint gun and all that, man, because all that matters, okay? Okay, what people tell you, all that matters. But let's get out, let's go outside and check out, the, uh, not check out, but get a cold start on the avalanche. Let's go. custom game I done made it to work and this is the vehicle that I'm gonna be working on today showing you how to put that wet wet down on it man and like I said it's it's a couple steps to getting that wet wet so let's get my primer spot sanded down I done showed y'all that on the previous video so I'm not gonna take y'all through that little process let me go on to get that down we're gonna cut you back on all right custom game we back as y'all can see I got my shiller laid down. I already done tack my panel off. Now I'm gonna get ready to lay down my base. My red base, the waterborne base here. So, let's go on and get it done. But the key to this, man, is make sure you tack your panels off, man. Cause like, when you spray your uh, your shiller, sometimes it leaves dust right here. And with this water, it's so thin that it'll pick up It'll look real grainy right there, you know what I'm saying? That's another step for the last process. And the last process is the clear. If it's real grainy right there, the clear is gonna take the texture that's on the door. If it's a smooth texture, it's gonna take that texture. And also it has a lot to do with the gun. And I'm gonna show you that in a minute. But yeah, let's get the red, let's get that uh, victory red laid down on this truck real quick. Let y'all take a look at it while I'm doing it.
gonna get ready to lay the clear down. Like I was telling y'all, it's all about the gun, man. It's about the gun, your whole setup, really. But mainly the gun. Certain guns will atomize the paint. You know what I'm saying? Atomize the paint meaning that it will have smaller droplets. You know, the smaller the droplet, the more it atomizes the paint. And the smoother, the smoother the paint surface will be. You know what I'm saying? So, if you got a little cheap gun, like I see a lot of them people using the Harbor Freight guns, they give it good reviews on them. I haven't tried one, so I really can't say nothing about it, but I've used some other cheaper guns, and man, let me tell you, only thing I use that gun, a cheap gun for, is for uh, like priming. You know what I'm saying? But as far as like clearing, nah, I want my stuff, I want, I want the drop as small as I can get them. So with that being said, man, it's an easy way to check it out. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna show y'all the way to check a cheap gun versus a high price gun. Like right here, what I'm using, I'm using a uh, water. Man, I love our waters, man. You know, we got people out there that like the Sada, the, uh, some other, you know, high price guns, but the water for me, that's all I roll with, man. Ever since I first started using uh, a water, I've been rolling with them ever since. But yeah, let's go and get this clear down.
y'all can see, I laid, I laid down my first coat of clip. And another thing, I know y'all probably seen me spraying with a lot of air pressure. That's just how I spray. I mean, the gun is capable of spraying at like, what, I think 15 pounds of pressure. That's all you need to spray it, but I like to hose mine on, man. I like to be a firefighter when I'm in a booth, man. I like, I like to wet it down, man. That's just the way I do it. But like I said, this is the first coat. I'm gonna throw another coat on here. And we gonna be done, man. It just, with paint, you gotta find your sweet spot. You know what I'm saying? The way I do it may not be the way you do it, but I'm just giving you some, take, you know, a couple techniques, you know? And maybe you can use my technique, my technique, maybe use somebody else's technique. But, the proof is in the, you see it. Yeah, but uh, man, let me lay down this other coat clear. We're gonna walk around and check it out. Just like that, people. You know, lay down that wet wet, man. Yeah, y'all see it? Got a gas cap, front bumper cap right here, corner cap. Oh yeah, it's wet. Look at the reflection. Wet. Man, it should be. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> but 
But yeah, I'm going to show y'all the difference in between a cheap gun and a, uh, a higher price gun. Let's go ahead and take a look. Alright, as y'all can see, we got two different guns here. We got the Awada and we got some little knockoff thing here. It's an Astro, let me see, Focus. Let's see what it focus. But anyway, it's a little cheap gun. Man, I forget, I forgot where I got this thing from, but I'm gonna show y'all the difference in between the uh, atomization. So let's get started. All right, here we go. This is the cheaper gun. So y'all, take a look at it now. Remember. I don't know if y'all can actually see that. Really, this gun, it's okay. But, like I said, I prefer the water. Let's put the water up there and give it a test. Give me a second. Okay. Here we go with the water. Check it out. It's the water. Ah, focus. There we go. It's kind of hard for y'all to see, but like I said, the water atomizes the paint better, man. That's why I love these guns. But, with all that being said... Alright, just like that, we done, man. Like I said, we laid down that wet wet on the truck in there. As y'all can see, that thing was wet, man. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe to the channel, and holler back at your boy. Pew!